what I like to do is <clears throat> what I like to do is show you guys how to solve a uh, a two-step equation and a couple things that we worked over with this problem. A couple things we worked over with this problem, guys. You can see the variables on the right side. A lot of times we always like to solve the variable when it's on the left side. But I'm just going to continue because it doesn't really matter. The reason why uh, we have the variable on the right side, or we're going to keep it there, is because it doesn't matter what side the variable is on. You just have to follow your operations. So the first thing we look to is see if we can simplify. Um, actually, we could simplify this, but I'm actually going to keep that way. First thing I want to do for this problem is actually, remember, you always want to do the reverse order of operations. Undo undo addition and subtraction. So I look at my variable and I'm going to circle it. I'm going to say, all right, what is happening to the variable in regards to it adding and subtracting? And you can say it's being subtracted by 4. So to undo that, I need to add a 4. And you're going to add a 4 to both sides of the equation, both sides of the equal sign. A big mistake is students do this. That's not both sides, right? We can sometimes make a line. Sometimes we do that when you're first learning. Do it on both sides. Therefore, negative 30 plus 4 gives you a negative 30 equals negative 4 plus 4 is going to give you 0, so you're left with 6m. Now we look at our variable and say, what's happening to our variable? It's being multiplied by 6. So I have to undo multiplication, which is division. Negative 30 divided by 6 gives you a negative 5 equals m. Then, we don't really like to write it as negative 5 equals m. We like to write m equals negative 5. So that is how you solve a two-step equation when you have your variable on the right side of the equation.